massive anger in Sri Lanka over festering economic crisis, a never-before siege on the Lankan power corridors. While the ruling class has failed to deliver, it is the common man who is suffering. As the people of the country grapple with its worst political and economic crisis, skyrocketing prices of basic necessities are wreaking havoc. Inflation has galloped to a record 54.6% in June. This year, inflation has surged over 40% in the country. Moreover, the country's central bank expects it to go as high as 70%. With food inflation surging to over 80% in June, household budgets in Sri Lanka are stretched to the breaking point. Prices of most of the vegetables have more than doubled. Onions and potatoes now cost over 200 Sri Lankan rupee per kilogram. Tomatoes are being sold at 150 rupees per kilogram. Carrots now cost 490 rupees per kilogram. These potatoes which look dark in colour are from Pakistan, these onions are from India and such way are only these are the Sri Lankan people are getting their produce, what they require for in their market. It is an extremely unfortunate situation over here where people have to suffer and they are still protesting even here against Gotha. With soaring food prices in the island of 22 million people, 70% of households are now reducing food consumption. The locals are fighting a battle on every front. Amid a shortage of LPG, serpentine queues can be seen outside LPG distribution centres. Citizens have to wait for minimum 10 hours before they can lay their hands on a 12.5 kg LPG cylinder, which now costs nearly 5,000 Sri Lankan rupees. One cylinder here costs around rupees 4,900, close to 5,000 rupees, while in black market it goes up to 12,000 rupees. That is the shocking part and that's the reason so much restriction. Even people are ready to buy it for 12,000 rupees but unfortunately cylinders are not available and that's the reason people have to wait here for several hours to get a fill of cylinders. But how did the island nation land in such a soup? The crisis comes after COVID-19 hammered the tourism-reliant economy and this has been compounded with the build-up of huge government debts and rising oil prices. Moreover, a ban on the import of chemical fertilizers last year devastated the agriculture sector. Bureau Report, Business Today Television. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.